Hello everybody out there and welcome to another episode of the Tony Sport Newsfeed. Today it's all about setups once again and um, our topic of today is caster. Caster is a very important setting on every race car, on every RC racing car, but um, caster is something which is also built in on almost every car you see driving in front of your house on the street. So caster is something which we need in our car to have a good handling. But um, yeah, I will try to explain it as simple as possible for our RC hobby. And um, I would say let's start the video. Let's see what caster is, how we can adjust it and what caster is doing with our car on the racetrack. Let's go. Okay, first of all, we uh, quickly will check what the caster is all about. And generally, when we're talking about caster, we are meaning the angle our C-Hub has when it's installed in the car. Normally in a classic car you install your C-Hub here with a pin uh, through the wishbone and then your C-Hub normally is angled a little bit backwards. So the upper ball stud here is angled backwards. Mostly the most common used value is 4 degrees of caster and um, the most companies also offer some yeah, other C-hubs where they uh, drilled uh, different holes in different angles and then you can adjust um, your caster yeah, to uh, 2 degrees, to 4 or to 6 and uh, you have some options to go out on the track with different caster settings by changing the complete C-hub and some other manufacturers they have uh, made some insets, some plastic insets which they can change in the C-hub part to get a different um, caster settings. That's uh, important to know first of all. Um, other manufacturers, for example, Osmotics, they operate with a system where they, uh, where they uh, can adjust the caster without any steps. They have uh, two turnbuckles here on the top and a pivot ball here on the lower suspension part and they can adjust the uh, caster angle however they like. Okay, let's check a little bit of the theory of the caster. Um, this is our tire with the wheel nut and um, behind the tire normally in this area we have the lower wishbone with the pin um, and we need this line which is straight from the top to the bottom to show you what the caster is all about. This is um, our racetrack and we are driving in this direction. So, when we now imagine that we would use zero degrees caster, what we normally never do in the front, then our upper ball stud would be mounted here like this. The upper ball stud where our camber link is located. But as we are running caster at all the time in our car, our ball stud is a little bit more in the back because our C-hub is mounted pointing backwards. So for example, we will put our ball stud and our C-hub position over to this point. And now we will draw the same line through the center of the wheel. And we will see, and we will see that we now have a different point which is hitting the track in front of the contact patch of our tire. Normally this area of the tire is in contact with the ground all the time and when we run with zero degrees of caster we would make the most pressure from the suspension from this point all the way down to the contact patch of the tire. But now with our positive caster angle which is measured here in this section for example, we use four degrees of positive caster. Then our turn point is not at the same point as the contact patch of our tire. The turn point is in front of our contact patch. So all the forces from the suspension are pushing the tire a little bit forward. So that means that we are yeah, pushing the tire in front of us, which will give us a lot more straight line stability when we are going out of a corner and hitting the throttle really hard um, 
with four, four degrees of caster, it's yeah more easy to drive and more stable than, for example, if you would go with zero degrees of caster. Then the car would be very hard and very um, yeah uncomfortable uh, to drive out of corners and in a straight line. So one of the positive aspects we have with the caster is a great straight line stability and our steering will find its way back to the neutral position even more easy and better. That's another positive aspect of positive caster angles. Uh, when you imagine uh, you are sitting in your own real car and you're driving out of a parking lot with full steering lock, when you, uh, yeah, when you don't touch your steering wheel anymore, you will notice that your steering will go back to the neutral position almost by itself. And this is because of the caster angle in your car and the turn point which is located in front of your tire. That's a little bit of caster theory. I think uh, we shouldn't go deeper in the topic now. That's um, enough. I will show it now on the car because uh, when you are steering into a corner and the caster effect will, um, yeah, will, will get effective, there will also um, be some changes in the camber and this will give us some benefits as well and this um, yeah I will try to show you now on the car in the next sequence. Okay what is the caster doing on the racetrack when you are driving with your car? In this car I installed uh, yeah a pretty standard four degrees um, C-hub and when we now start to steer into the corner our tire will not stay in the same camber position. When we would run with zero degree of toe, the camber would not change. But as we are running some caster and as we are steering into the corner, your tire will fall a little bit backwards like this. This is a little bit more dramatically, but I think um, on the touring car it's really hard to see. So let's uh, switch to an off-road vehicle. Um, the off-road cars, they are running with more caster angle and so it would be yeah, able to to see now relatively easy when you steer into the corner your wheel falls backwards a lot and this is because of the caster setting in your car you can see it now a little bit better when i go down with the camera as we are driving straight forward we have the full tire in contact with the ground but now as we are steer into the corner the inside of the tire now lifts off the ground and on the outer wheel of the corner the outside has no contact patch at the moment because we are running with a lot of caster but now when you have steered into the corner and uh, the forces go to the front left wheel your car will do this it will lean into the corner and in this moment where the car leans into the corner you get back the most possible contact patch with your tire on the ground and this will provide you grip through through the corner and maybe especially on the exit of the corner depending on the caster settings you have made okay we are coming to the end of our video and um, this uh, little overview here is from the hoodie setup book which i um, always read when i have some questions um, here we can see the benefits of less or more caster angle. When we are running with less caster, for example, two degrees and your C-hub is relatively vertical, that decreases the straight line stability. So your car will be harder to drive, especially on power out of the corner. It will give you more steering when you are going off throttle and when you are entering a corner. Okay, the suspension package will be a little bit more efficient and less caster also decreases your on power steering in mid corner and exit so when you go with less caster and you are exiting a corner the car will maybe feel a little bit more pushy and a little bit yeah less steering and it will be a little bit more difficult to drive in a straight line but sometimes you are only looking for that little bit of extra bite and steering when you are racing on tight tracks with hairpins there it can be 
a benefit to go with less caster because you have more off power steering at the corner entry. On the other side, when you're going with a more caster, maybe with five or six degrees, that will increase your straight line stability. So the car is easier to drive down the straightway or maybe out of the corners in a straight line. As um, I explained before, we are uh, pushing the wheel more kind of in front of us. So the car will drive more easy. Um, more caster will decrease the off power steering at the corner entry. So you will maybe feel a little bit less aggressiveness when you are entering the corner. More caster increases the on power steering mid corner and at corner exit. So that's um, maybe the benefit you have to drive it more easy in a straight line and you have more steering feel mid and corner exit can be a huge benefit. And more caster is a little bit more stable on bumpy tracks because the suspension is able yeah, to, to soak up the bumps better. Okay guys, we are done with the video of today with our topic caster. I think a caster is very important and um, when you have some uh, time and motivation to, to try some, some more setup stuff on the racetrack, um, invest some time and um, check out what the caster is doing with your car. If it's uh, suiting your driving style to go with a little bit less or a little bit more caster and uh, try that out by yourself, you will feel immediately how your car will react on the racetrack. Okay guys, thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to our Tony Sport Newsfeed channel on YouTube until now, just do it and you will never miss a video in the future. Thanks for watching and always keep in mind, race with Tony Sport, you will never race alone. We see us in the next video. Have a great day and goodbye.